Okay, we'll go ahead and Try to lay it over there where the flame can kind of sh hit it and maybe kind of go around too. Maybe. We'll see. So, turn on the propane. See the oil moving up the line already just from the propane going through there. temperatures that that hole won't plug up. But if it does, I've got my uh, big propane torch hooked up to another bottle so I can heat, heat down underneath. Heat the drain hole up and that'll, that'll free it up. So I'll click back when we start getting something. down there. Not, not much yet. And it's just ripped again. And another drip. Starting to accelerate. Kind of move that manifold over to this side a little more. The flame's hitting a little more direct. Yeah. Crank it back up here.
down slowly.
<laughs> Must have got clogged and oil stopped flowing or something. Kind of burned itself out. They might be plugging up again. It'll light it and see what we get. Got a little pilot light on this torch here, so I'll just stick it inside there. too long because the cupcake tin is filling up pretty quick. I dumped uh, two of them so far, so I got a dozen cupcakes. 18, I'm uh, working on number 19. We're about a half a pound a piece. So, the burner keeps kind of crapping out on me, so I'm not sure what's going on. It's clogged or something. I'm going to try to get this batch of oil used up and get into another bottle. Everything's getting cooked down inside, not a whole lot left. That's 30 ingots right there so far. 24 in the basket. On the strip in it makes 32. So. We're getting there. We got a half a jug of oil over there. So. I haven't gone through a lot of oil. It keeps kind of plugging up, so I'm having to keep the propane going just a little bit. But I'm trying to get through that oil. And hopefully once I get into the next jug, hopefully it'll run better. Of course, I'll clean the tip up and everything again before that. Seems like it'll siphon real good at the beginning. Then something will get in there and kind of plug it up. Sure what it is, but it's getting through the filter. It's a uh, low torch here is doing pretty good for heating up that drain spout, keeping it flowing. So trying to conserve battery on this camera here, probably less than half right now. So we're just about down here. Of course, it's almost four o'clock. So, probably close to 20 pounds anyway. That's not too bad. Starting to make a little bit of, of a dent over there in my in that stock tank. So, 
slowly but surely. But I don't know if we'll get any more days like this until I march. It's nice, it's fucking 75 degrees out here. It was dripping, but it was dripping slow, so I don't know if there's much left in there or not. I may have to cut it down. And it. It's still dripping. Cut it down and see if I can push everything over to that one side. But we'll see. Yeah, we didn't do too shabby. There's down to about ash and stuff. There's a little, middle, little bit of aluminum in there. What I'll do if I can get it small enough, I'll put it in the crucible and try to melt it and see what we got. But I like it when it's running just on just pure oil. But uh, sometimes I get clogs and stuff and hurt one issue or another and I gotta run a little propane with it which I try not to I try to keep it cheaper but if I got to that's for the blowtorch if I gotta run a little oil that's fine because how else are you gonna run this big stuff out you know I need to give me a bandsaw where I can cut some of it but you're limited to like three inches on a bandsaw so a lot of that stuff you can't really get in fit into a bandsaw this I could probably take apart yeah maybe but that was the whole purpose of this was to get big stuff in here that yeah like this that's got the metal yeah I could sell that as breakage for 10 cents a pound but I can sell clean ingots for three dollars a pound on eBay and I don't call these clean right now. I'll, I'll remelt them through the in a crucible and get the dross off, and then then I'll call them clean because the way it's set up, ash and stuff like that can fall through the hole, you know, and contaminate the ingot. And I wouldn't want to want somebody doing the sand casting with that. So I don't degas these or put borax in them. I probably need to start even just a little bit get them cleaned up a little more but, uh, it's almost four o'clock so I've got an hour and a half of daylight left so I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits on this I always take this tube in I left this tube out and hooked up I think last summer summer before and uh, of course the Sun deteriorates the this clear tubing and it got real brittle on me and created issues so now I just take it in in the shop here and I got a garden hose hanger here and I just throw it over that <coughs> keeps it out of the Sun I need to get down and buy another another roll of that so it was a pretty good melt Get a glove on here real quick. It's probably not a good place to set the camera. There's not too many places out here I can set the camera. I wonder if I should have put a left-handed glove on and had the camera in my right hand. But yeah, anyway, this stuff is it's kind of cooled off, but it's still yeah you know, easy to move around. So the, there's not a lot of aluminum in there bolts and a bunch of junk so yeah we got 98% 99% of it so good, good enough They're close to 32 ingots uh, 15 maybe almost 16 pounds roughly a half a pound per ingot so Now I need to take this out later, let it cool off for about an hour, then I'll take it inside. And that way it doesn't get rained on, they're talking rain tomorrow. I gotta get this covered up. <coughs> Which I'll disconnect that torch. And I picked that up from a scrap, scrap metal, and the hose is good on it and everything. 
I need to replace the hose on this one, and I think this is a hose off of one of these torches. <coughs> then I, I bought one from Harbor Freight, and it works pretty good. It's got a good hose, and then I got another one just like this one, it, but the hose got a lot of cracks in it. So I got to see about replacing, which I don't really need to replace it. I got this one. How many do you need? <laughs> you know, I only got two hands. So I've been kind of getting these shelves cleaned up a little bit so I could have more room for my casting stuff. That bucket there is a bunch of dirty aluminum. I got to go through and clean it up a little bit, but I think most of that stuff will fit in my crucible. But I've got almost three shelves now. I got you know some of my molds up on this shelf and uh, the graphite yep. brushes, and I got got a spare mold, uh, crucible there, some vegetable oil there spray, which works pretty good for mold release. And down that where I, I got all my oil mixed up. And uh, so I got four or five quart jugs ready to go and then I'm working on that half a gallon. Yeah, I probably, in this burn here, I went, probably, it was probably up to about here, so. Didn't use a whole lot of oil. Should have used more, but you know, it's, it's having issues. So just about out of battery power, so I guess I'll go ahead and wish everybody a happy new year again. I know today's the, the first, and uh might be a day or two before you guys see this, so might be second or third, or later. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to remind everybody of the Amazon affiliate link, and uh, I've been getting things designed here for sand casting and had a little bit of wobble in it that's just some one by one by two basically or one by one and a half so i put those little corner brackets on and that got all the wobble the, the play out of it and uh i got my uh petra bond here i had that thing made a whole lot bigger and i had to downsize it earlier so i thought it depends if i have enough petra bond to fill that thing so and still waiting on stuff to come in from but I got this cross my wife had I took the little hanger off the back and uh, so I thought well I kind of made that to fit that and I don't know if I'll get making too much stuff bigger than this but I'll probably make another box bigger but it just depends on when I get something cut me a board for the bottom so I may go ahead and try to get that ready to go I was hoping to have that ready to go and maybe melt a little copper and and try to pour it today but being it's going to be dark in an hour and a half i don't know if i'll have the time but i may go ahead and give it a shot but i wanted to get it filmed too and i'll have to recharge the battery on this camera so I'm kind of set up here on my little center island so i can set the tripod on the back side if i need to and probably get a pretty good view i need to put another light up here that's 12 volt light right there so something to throw a little more light down of course i guess i could use one of those yeah, that light. i got two of those that i had set up for when i was doing a lot of ebay stuff to light everything up where i could get you know get decent pictures so i could put maybe mount both of those over here hook them up on a drop cord and get some decent lighting right here so might might do that Probably be the easiest and fastest. But uh, trying to gather a few things here. To, got a couple of little picks. I got a. But I'm probably just starting to ramble on. I'm going to run out of battery power real soon. So we'll see you guys in the next video. And happy scrapping. Bye bye.